I don't need to jump away. If anyone catches up with me. Can I kill this man? I can kill this man. That kinda secures the game for now. If I didn't do that, they probably would have won this push. But right now we can actually kill. Oh, hello, Honor. There's something you're forgetting. I still have one more skill. Oh, but that does actually 400 damage. That's a lot of damage. What is up, beautiful people? It's Saladin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Nathan the Jungle Company here, but what looks like Anubis is a casual match. Just whipping out some off meta jungle for you guys. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the video. Looks like we're playing against the Mercury Jungle. Our clear is pretty decent, but in case it's not, I grabbed a hog. Just in case. As you can see, it's pretty fast. Uh, actually, Neat Jungle is quite effective. Maybe not as much effective as Ulr Jungle, but still effective nonetheless. Her damage is pretty good, her clear is decent. You stack up the minions like this, they deal decreased damage to you because you root them at the start of it. So you maybe don't even want to pop this potion early. She has some sustain in her healing R2. She's very fun to box in the jungle because you can slow down the attack speed of the enemies. We're gonna grab these mid camp. Looks like Mercury decided to not contest trying to dash the Anubis. Oh, I should not be doing this mid camp. That was a bad idea. I spent so much time and had to commit. Somehow Anubis got out pushed, so they're contesting our red. We're gonna blink in. They did it really fast. Holy shit, I'm in big, big trouble. What terrible weather we're having. Put down tornado, unfortunately I got it. Oh, I missed my Otis. Mm, I choked. We could have got a first blood on the Mercury here, at least traded kills, but it looks like Anubis is way too busy VGS trolling me instead of actually playing the game. How unfortunate. I don't understand how this man got out pushed as Anubis, but I really don't want to understand that. But that should not have been the case. We should have pressure in the mid against basically any god. <laughs> But he decided to just, yeah, let, let just let him just outpush me. And I made a big misplay, so not optimal. I'm gonna grab the small camp and then grab our speed buff. We probably gonna, oh, look, he's also stealing my experience as well. As if it's not bad enough. Good times. Grabbing our speed buff, pump this, since we're here anyway, nothing else to do. The blue isn't spawning for quite a second here. I'm gonna ward up just in case. Let's look at the mid camp, it should be up most probably. Yeah, it is, but Mercury is level four and I don't have my jump. Anubis is out of position, most probably dead. Okay, he had beats. Got some decent poke on Mercury, doesn't give us anything, but still. I'm not trying to go for this mid camp now, unfortunately. We cannot do that if we want to secure a red. We're gonna pressure out a little bit. Anubis comes on for uh, the uh, left camp for some reason instead of securing his red. He can do that with any spell that he has. Instead, he decides to steal more of my experience, which is extremely unfortunate. Mercury might be looking for an ult here, but it probably won't get... No, he, he, he can kill Anubis with that amount of HP quite easily, actually. I'm gonna get some uh, mana sustain from this camp that will allow me to clear the mid camp. Since he's taking my experience, I have no problem taking his whatsoever. Gonna pop our jump here to insta-clear the wave, and we're gonna back for full boots. Anubis takes my experience but ignores the chalice while he's at it, which is extremely unfortunate. We opted out for attack speed boost, by the way, because, yeah, you take attack speed boots every time. Despite me wanting to have a lot of power. Oh, he's taking our smalls. What a holy gun. He took a whole one. Let's stun him up. I think I can kill. He's in a really bad spot here. 
Alts, we're gonna jump out. Oh, Anubis kinda stole the kill. Let's help him. Nice, we got a double in the mid, that's pretty cool. Something really weird is happening in the dual lane because we have Isis there and Amaterasu as a support. They're doing a decent job, but I'm afraid the late game we're really gonna suffer. Unfortunately, the speed buff isn't here. We just waste a bunch of time, can't do anything in the enemy jungle to hurt the enemy team, unfortunately. But we're gonna get this camp for free. Gonna pop the chalice before we clear any more buffs because it's full. Uh, not a lot of players will tell you that you need to max this out and just keep track of it but honestly guys don't bother too much it's not giving that much of gold if you're able to max it that's great but if you don't just pop it whenever you're close to it it gives about the same amount with like five gold difference it's really not worth it to over optimize your jungle route just for the chalice looks like anubis got killed in mid while i was ranting which is unfortunate we're losing another red buff but looks like i get some free experience off of the mid wave which is nice your right tower is under attack most probably everything here is clear we're just gonna grab some timers His small camp is also... Let's grab this kill in case he runs away. Doink. Okay. Hmm, looks like Amaterasu blinked in, which I didn't notice. It's fine, just got some gold. Not a bad thing for us at all. I guess I'm just gonna back here for tier 2 transcendence. Not a whole lot I can do. As you can see, we're doing pretty decent. We're even gold and experienced with Mercury, despite him having more kills. So we're just optimally farming faster than he does. And he's trying to cash the Anubis out of position way too often. Looks like Aphrodite might be available here. Aphrodite is actually a pretty darn bad pickup for a solo laner. So we might put some pressure on her. Enemy jungle is not around. Looks like she doesn't have a word. She doesn't see me clearly. She's not acting as she does. As soon as she steps up, we're blinking. Okay. That, oh, she has an Aegis? I should have paid more attention. This bitch has an Aegis. I should have been ganking this lane this whole game. Gonna put some pressure on the tower. Maybe get her out of position if she goes stupid. Okay, literally all of my Oh, look at the Anubis trolling, trolling taking my speed buff while the his enemy mid is ganking the dual lane and killing both of them. Yeah, guys are really not happy about it, obviously. Can I ult her? Nah, looks like we're not ulting anything here. This is the problem with the Neath jungle. Like when this happens, you just wait a lot of time. By this time, this ult does nothing. She's under her tier 2. Oh my god, this man actually killed her. I take back what I just said. That was an amazing play. Totally calculated. Exactly as expected. Yada yada yada. We have too much gold. We need it back here like big time, but we just got the pressure in the jungle. Mercury's coming in my way. If he dashes me and Anubis is not a potato, he should stun him and get a free kill. Oh, look at this shit. It actually works exactly as I described it. I think Anubis just bees the grab that hit me and that just pretty much sums up the level of play we can see from the Anubis here. We popped our one with a weave and a Kukulkin, which is nice. We dealt some poke. I don't think he has a lot of lifesteal to restore that, so he's gonna be more careful now. We're gonna go for the jungle again. As you can see, with the damage we have right now, we're clearing pretty fast, but wait and see when I got a full transcendence. Unfortunately, my dual lane is too busy flaming each other. Despite them doing an amazing job, actually, <laughs> they should really be happier about it. I mean, misplays do happen. I got first blood in this game. Oh, hello. I kind of should have shot this Mercury, to be honest. That would have stopped him here. I would have used my... Oh, no, my one is on cooldown, so I guess not. Oh, you saw nothing over here. 
Thank you, sweet gentleman. He throws me right out of the soldier mid that would have guaranteed killed me. How very nice of this man. He just said, you seriously should consider slowing down, good sir. That's exactly why sh how I should be talking to this Mercury right here. Oh, well, by the way, we are farmed by a level and a half, and we're also ahead in gold despite him having more kills, which is pretty nice. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, hello. Uh, red is available, but I probably should be dead now. Gonna heal up a little bit. I don't think I can box him. Yep. I needed at least two more odd attacks, but it looks like Amateur has finally rotated off a dual lane and immediately gets a kill on the enemy mid, which is nice. Actually a double. I mean, better late than never, I guess. My team actually was able to get the gold fury off of that, which was pretty nice. Good rotation, good call. We are actually ahead in golden right now by quite a significant amount. But nothing drastic, just some significant gold ahead. There's a fight in mid. We're gonna do that trick when you ult and blink. Uh, I couldn't blink. <laughs> I couldn't blink it. Like he was too close, and I was way too far from the. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm probably dead here. The animation comes through, but the skill doesn't. I'm gonna get some healing. Mercury is dead. Mercury is dead. So, I guess we traded, which isn't optimal, but kind of evens the shit out. I certainly am getting caught a little bit too much. I should up up my game a little bit because, yeah, if that keeps on going on, we're not gonna have a good game in our hands. There's a big fight in dual lane. They're all poked out. We can kill, maybe. I don't want to go into deep right after I said that we should chill up a little bit. My two misplays in a row will have Mercury to catch up and farm with me, which is extremely unfortunate. Oh, they're still there. Let's pop someone up. I kind of want an honor here. Oh, he jumped in. What a hooligan. He is so dead. I think you can catch him. I still have my blink. He has a sprint, though. Alright, he gave vision to Anubis. He... Utilize his ultimate properly, so we got a kill. Nice. Everyone are poked out, but we're pretty much alive. Despite the enemy team. Oh, there's mid. Wait, Achilles says to ult. Does he not understand that I don't have it? Does he not know where to look? Is this serious? It's gonna get better. We're grabbing Heartseeker next, so we're gonna do some numbers. Our ult should be doing in the late game about 900, which is quite significant, I might say, just considering I can sh shoot it at anyone on the map. Hello. Can I poke you a little bit? Nothing crazy here. Let's try an altar. Okay, she doesn't come into the lane. Unfortunate. Oh, Kokin is really poked out. Amter out of position. We got some decent damage on Kukulkin. Wait, why is he the same amount? That's weird. Okay, they have it worded. Look at them just turning immediately. That was a good indication of a word. If you see people turning your way immediately, that's a word. He tries to ult me. I'm definitely standing on another word. That's good wording. Good job by Capri over here. I cannot do shit. Of I cannot walk in here. I can, I can. Okay, Kepri is actually out of position. Oh shit, I flicked a little bit too hard. If I landed that route. Oh, hello. Mercury's dead. Oh, I walked right into that, huh? That's a shell. I'm alive, that's nice. We still have our blink. We're gonna back off a little bit. Oh, Kokolkin is still here. That's Emma ult. We're gonna root this man. Kokolkin is dead. And we got a double kill because I'm pretty sure that Mercury just backed off completely. That your welcome is completely unnecessary. Like, dude, you just did your job for once. Can you, like, not be sketchy about it? You ruined the whole experience. Honor is looking for a stun on me. He gets a stun on ammo, which is, well, about the same thing. 
Another gold fury is available. We should grab it. It's like free. Oh, look, a red buff. A wild red buff appeared. We're just gonna grab it and go straight for the gold fury. Fill up a little bit. By the way, I should have healed up on these oracles. That would have gave me more HP. But it, it's not really as much important. But just in case, a little tip over there. You can hit the immune targets with your two. It still uh, registers as a hit, so you get the healing. It's a really good thing during the fight or something like that. You can just ult through the wall if you know that there's a buff available. There's three targets, you get the maximum healing, which is a lot of healing, by the way. Especially when you have as much power as I do. Even more we're gonna get soon. An ally has You're gonna get a lot of healing. Some people might really not expect that. We can get some damage on the Kukulkin. We got some damage on Mercury, I guess. He almost died from it. That's the power of Neath for you. Neath jungle. You just get all the power in the world and cool down. Make sure that you fire this on cool down. We can get in there. He's gonna get stunned. We're gonna blink in and we're gonna use our one. He's gonna die. And there you go. I'm not sure if Mercury has his ult or not. Oh, he's ulting. Ooh, we jumped right on time. Good juice. Okay, That's his beats. We're running. We're gonna ward up over here just in case he follows. He's gonna get fucked. He's not following, unfortunate. Okay, he saw me there. Oh, the, the minions, right. Oh, look at that honor just styling on Achilles here. With that ult cancel. Holy shit, that was cute. Oh man. I was hoping that my two is gonna hit him. Oh, she's coming. You don't realize how much damage I do, aren't you, girl? Now you're dead. Yep. Welcome back to the lane. She spent too much time in the solo lane she, <laughs> to get fucked like that. She really doesn't understand how much damage I do. Uh, I flicked too hard again. Got some healing, we're gonna jump up. I don't think there's anything else to see in this lane. Kepri is looking for root and job dot done. damage yet again. Very annoying, gentlemen. Both Achilles and I'm out of position. Isis is also nice. out of position, doesn't pay attention to the map. They're not rotating my way. Nobody in the middle lane. Okay, nobody in middle lane. I think they're just chasing, looking for Isis. They're not gonna come here in time. We're grabbing a free tower. Oh, hello, Honor. That's way too late, my man. Hey, Mercury Link. We're gonna stun him up. We can still kill him, I think. My auto didn't went off. Unforge, man. I should have killed them. Alrighty then, we finally grabbed some anti-heal. I know, I know some of you probably seasoned at this point, but there's really not enough room for anti-heal in, in this uh, god pick for the jungle until you get significant amount of power. It's really not worth it. So we got some brawlers. We probably might actually even opt for Toxic Blade later on. Nobody to ult here, huh? Oh, somebody's doing our minis. That's really unfortunate. Somebody's like way out of position. We're gonna stun him. That's way too late. On forge. Can I catch him? Nah, I don't think I can catch him. I can try though. Let's try though. Oh, he's way out of my league. Like I was saying, we didn't add enough room for anti-heal, but we do now and they have a fucking Aphrodite, so it's totally worth it. Oh girl, you're gonna die. Oh, you're dying. Oh, he missed the ult. That's unfortunate. But I hit for 300 the pop, so... Ooh. Very lucky ultimate dodge here. He's taking like a quarter of his health from two Otis. We should not have retreated. But now, Emma is dead because we okay, actually did. All of my teammates are trolls. They should really go for Fire Giant right now, but instead they're chasing us. No, they, they actually stopped for it, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and pop them. Try and steal it. We hit something. That's nice. We have a word here. Oh, they grabbed it so fast. Well, they have Mercury. What, what are they thinking? I am very much dead. Can I kill at least this man? Big no from our man Honor here. Not even close. 
very big in force our anubis is afk in the right lane and also solely when i got them got gold fury while they're taking the phoenix despite him having an ult despite him doing massive damage and being our mid laner he just decides to afk in the right lane for a solid minute and a half that gives him free gold fury i'm taking this red i really should not be here yep i should not be here big time that was a really dumb decision but we're gonna blink away it's fine we're not gonna do that anymore because i popped my two what am i doing man oh look at this man just vgs taunting me huh okay i get mad now we're gonna win this fucking game man we got some additional penetration to pop capri because he's been really annoying this game we're looking for an ult here okay got some decent damage great ultimate as per usual he's been really popping this game we're gonna blink behind this man and he, that's exactly the moment he decides to push in which is unforged oh look at that damage look at that damage come here bitch i'm gonna show you stars Kepri didn't really underestimate the damage i deal now he's really poked out they have to disengage or we kill him Instead, they kill our support because nothing is happening with my team. Achilles is pushing up mid. We gotta drop this red because why the hell not? It's your job not to die. Are they going in? I miss both of them. Jeffrey, I'm fragging. That is the definition of not fun. I don't need to jump away. If anyone catches up with me. Can I kill this man? I can kill this man. That kind of secures the game for now. If I didn't do that, they probably would have won this push. But right now we can actually kill. Oh, hello, Honor. There's something you're forgetting. I still have one more skill. Oh, that does actually 400 damage. That's a lot of damage. Look at that healing. That's a pretty nice healing, right? Because I knew that the buff is there. So now their push completely stopped because two of their people completely underestimated my damage. <laughs> so that worked out pretty well for us. Somebody has to defend the Phoenix. I'm gonna drop this so we were able to back and just push up the fire giant immediately. That'll be optimal. They're definitely doing fire. Oh, look at this bitch. She never learns. Second time in a row, she just walks straight at me. What you doing, girl? You have no defense. This Capri is way out of position now. We can actually do a lot of stuff with him now. There's a Kukulkan ult. Achilles going ham on these bad boys. Wouldn't we actually body block him in a triangle? That's insane. Uh, that might be game, man. We have an uh, we have an Anubis, but he doesn't really have an ultimate. But that might be game. We have Isis ult. Hopefully, she does not waste it right here. She really should hold it for the Titan. If she does that, we probably will win. We still have one tower up, but we should push in. That's a stun. That's Isis ult on the Titan. That's a lot of damage. Look at this. This is game. Well done, <laughs> I'm telling you, this honor should not have VGS spammed me. That was a bad decision on his part. So in terms of builds, it's pretty simple. We go in ham on the power. We go in transcendence. Well, despite wanting a lot of power, the warrior tabby is really shit right now in comparison to the ninja tabby. Just look at this. Mana, physical power and attack speed, 25. If you want to be simple, attack speed is equal about one power. So it gives just straight up more of everything. But actually, attack speed is way more viable than power. So it gives even more than you would expect. And it costs less. What else do you want? You just grab Ninja Tabby no matter what. You go Yodens for additional cooldowns. You go Hard Seeker for that insane damage spike and MP5 additional to the Transcendence. You now never run out of mana, which is insane. Percentage 
damage on the targets with every one of your spells. By the way, you have four damage in spells, which is pretty nice. You go for brawlers because these guys have Aphrodite for some reason that builds full power and no defense. They also have honor that relies on lifesteal with an Aussie, which is extremely important. And even Kokokin has some lifesteal in his Polynomicon build. So having some additional anti-heal is pretty important. We're seeing at a good square 40% CDR and we're building Titan's Bane for additional penetration because at this point why not open up a Capri alone with other people. Between Yodun's Heartseeker and Brawler's Beastic we also have a lot of flat pan for other targets so that works pretty well for us and we have a 19 kill participation out of 28 as a jungler that is way 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 more than enough. Our support who should always have most of the kill participation have just 14. Our mid has 13. Our solo laner is barely found in any engagements. And Isis has 13, so we are way ahead of everyone else. And comparing that to the enemy Mercury, we're significantly ahead of gold with him. He still doesn't have a sixth item, his built-in crit. His kill participation is actually one higher than us, but they also have three more kills. He did a pretty decent job with their support and solo laner was quite lacking. Despite their mid and uh, ADC doing a much much better job. In terms of anyone else on the field, nobody is doing a really bad job. I would say the mystical male and Achilles is bullshit. And the fact we're having Isis with a warrior's blessing as an ADC is also quite insane. On the enemy team, nothing out of the ordinary really as much. A pretty cookie cutter build on Honor, Mercury and even Capri despite of having Windblade. But Aphrodite having a full power on the solo lane is a really really bad decision. Not only she went mage and she went no teleport, she also went full power which she was totally available for my ganks. But for some stupid reason I just didn't pay enough attention that this bitch has a fucking Aegis in the solo lane. If I noticed that minute one, she would be 0-10 by now and we would have won this game 10 minutes ago. In terms of damage, I am obviously top on the field. Despite them having a Kokolkin who's doing a very good job and is right behind me, I am still way way top on the field. Anyone on my team is not even remotely close. In terms of comparison, I have damaged the enemy jungle by almost twice the amount, which is about the amount at which you completely stomp the enemy opposition. Comparatively, our support is triple the damage of the enemy support, which is quite understandable. They were having a good time there and it's also Amaterasu and Kepri is probably one of the lowest damage supports in the game right now. I'm, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Our mid laner out damaged almost twice, quite expected, was doing a very fancy job alting air and VGS and during the team fights while he was supposed to be controlling his character. Our solo laners actually out damaged the enemy solo laner by twice the amount, which is very, very nice. And our ADC sucks some massive dicks now damage almost triple the amount which is quite unfortunate for us so this game is totally on my shoulders and probably on the shoulders of our support but the solo lane is more like the enemy solo lane being really garbage instead of our solo lane being really really good in terms of warding i put down not a very good amount but significant enough nobody on either team didn't exhaust the free wards which is nice to see uh, the enemy mid actually put down down a significant amount, the enemy support put down good amount. Our mid despite having a very poor gameplay actually put down the most amount on our team which is surprising. And structured damage obviously 3k on me. I pushed out most of the objectives and on the enemy team honor pushed out twice the amount that I did which is wow quite insane really. Aphrodite also healed up 5k and our Isis actually healed up almost the same the amount so that Aphrodite pick and solo lane was complete garbage and completely didn't work out for these boys. And yeah, that'll be off meta pick, neat jungle guys, casual conquest, don't take it very seriously, but still quite effective. If you really train that pick for quite some time, you can actually put down some quite surprising plays, probably even in low to mid ranked. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. Like literally, I actually just cleared up all the comments on my channel, every single one, even like two years ago. So I respond literally to every single comment. And if you like the video, like the video. It helps YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people, which is much appreciated. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.